Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Line School. If you follow us at all, you know that we're fans of gear, particularly when it comes to handcrafted gear. So what I did is I contacted some good friends of Nature Line School, said, hey, can you offer a discount to some of our followers, supporters? And they were all on board for that because they're good people. But what I wanted to do is share some of the gear that they've made that I utilize on a regular basis. And that way, if you like some of this stuff and you think it'll be good for you for Christmas or you want to buy it for somebody for Christmas, we'll get this video out early. That way you'll have plenty of time to get something. Hey, if you've been following us on Facebook, you've seen me wearing these uh, merino wool caps that were made by Rotten Friends Nature Crafts. These are fantastic. I got one that is more earth tone as well as one that is orange so that I can have something to wear during deer season. So these are fantastic. I've just got completed deer season wearing this one through a lot of cold weather. They're fantastic. Uh, what they told me is that on the in stock colors of yarn that they have, They'll offer anybody that seeks them out 10% off. So check this out. These are fantastic. They're comfortable, they're warm, uh, they're merino wool, so you know they're gonna to, uh, work even when they're damp. And uh, fantastic caps. I'm a big, big fan of Rotten Friends Nature Craft. And they're new to Good Friends and Nature Reliance School, so check them out. Next one, it comes from my good friend, Doug Meyer. Uh, I'm gonna attach some photos to this video. So what you're looking at right now are some of the rings that he makes as well as some of the flint nap knives that he does. He does a lot of flint napping. Uh, Doug's a good friend with Nature Line School. He teaches primitive skills courses for us. So seek him out for anything related to primitive skills and uh, you will be happy with what he makes. Next is any sort of knife. Matter of fact, some axes too. Uh, I don't have one of the bag axes yet, but I'm going to from Bright Forest Forge. I have one of the long knives. I have a video I did of this knife on its own, all the many uses of it. Uh, I also have a small bushcrafter knife that Bright Forest sent me many, many moons ago. I've used this quite a bit. Matter of fact, I got a video on this one too. And last week I got two more knives. I've got this trade knife. It's a fantastic little blade. You can utilize this for a number of different uses, particularly eating dinner. <laughs> and another little knife here that he makes this really sharp clip point. Um, I don't know exactly what this is designed to be used for. Uh, I think this is more of a Japanese uh, style, but what I'm gonna use it for is a patch knife because it's thin, it's really gonna be real easy to use. I'm gonna be able to put it on the strap of one of my possible bags. It's not gonna take up much space, and that way I can use it when I'm loading up my muzzle loader. Hey, this next one comes from Donnie Brown. He's a good friend of Nature Reliance School, good friend of uh, Tracy Trimble, instructor with Nature Reliance School. Uh, Donnie's one of those guys that's like a modern day mountain man. I mean, he's got incredibly, he, he's incredibly gifted. Um, not that he just was given gifts, he's given the gifts of making things, but as well as uh, he works hard at it. But uh, this footstool is something that I actually made uh, under his tutelage. And he's made a, a blooming million of these, as well as chairs and any number of things. And these are all handmade. Uh, basically, when this started, the day that we got going, uh, this was a big bunch of firewood. Uh, this is all, I believe, red oak, and some of the spindles, the supporting spindles are hickory. And uh, the actual base here that you sit on or even stand on is made of hickory strips. These are beautiful. These are fantastic. I don't know what all he makes for Christmas, but I'll get you in contact with him if you're interested in good old handmade Kentucky stuff. Last but not least are some pouches that are made by my dad and myself. So we do a lot of leather work. And so we have a, a large range of leather bags that we make. These are all handcrafted here in Kentucky as well. Most of them are cowhide, some of them are elk, some of them are brain tan deer hide. So uh, if you're interested in something like this, then shoot me a message. And again, I'll have the links for all of these people down below. And I'll send you pictures of the various ones that we have. So there you go. We've got a lot of handcrafted good, good friends that are part of the Nature Reliance School community of people uh, that are doing good work. This stuff, some of it's, uh, it, it's all worth every penny you might spend on it, but don't expect it to be the cost of what you get some crap from Walmart. Uh, it's quality stuff, so you're going to pay for it. 
uh, and uh, I'm happy to pay the money that I do to get this stuff. Very happy to pay for it. So um, there you go, handcrafted stuff from all over the, the country. You can buy it for yourself. You can buy it for somebody that likes handcrafted goodies. This is stuff that's gonna last a lifetime and be important to you as you move through. As always, Nature Line School, come on, join in. Let's learn together.